myself Anita Sandeep. Today we are going to see the generating functions. So coming to the definition, generating functions are used to represent the sequences efficiently by coding the terms of a sequence as coefficients of powers of a variable say x in the formal power series. That is given a sequence suppose a0 is the first term, a1 is the second term, a2 so on. We define the generating function of the sequence an to be the power series like g of x which is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square so on like this. So now what is the purpose of studying this is this concept can be applied to solve many problems in mathematics. There is a huge chunk of mathematics dealing with just generating functions that is the, it can be used to solve various kinds of counting problems easily. It can be used to solve the recurrence relation by translating the relation in terms of sequence to a problem about functions. So we are going to concentrate on the second uh, that is uh, solving the recurrence relation by using generating functions. So let us see some important generating functions for the various sequences. Suppose the sequence is 1, 1, 1, all 1's that is all coefficients are 1 that is nothing but a k that is k the term is equal to 1. So let us write let g of x is equal to now because here the coefficient of uh, in place of a0 I have 1. So therefore g of x will be 1 then the coefficient a1 is also 1. So therefore x a2 coefficient is also 1. So we will get g of x equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube so on we let us call it as equation 1. Now multiply this equation 1 by minus x we get minus x into g of x which is nothing but if I multiply g of x by minus x I will get minus x minus x square minus x cube so on like this. Now adding equation 1 and 2 what I get is here 1 minus x into g of x that is g of x minus x g of x common term is 1 minus x which is equal to so if I am adding so I will be getting 1 then x minus x gets cancelled x square minus x square get cancelled so this all will get cancelled. So only RHS remains 1. Therefore, your g of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus x. If your sequence is alternating plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 that is your a k is equal to minus 1 raised to k. Then your g of x will be because the first term is positive so 1 minus second term is minus 1 coefficient so minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x4 minus x prime so let it be equation 1. Then multiplying your g of x by x what I am going to get here is 1 when you multiply by x I will get x x minus x multiply by x I will get minus x square so on like this. So adding 1 and 2 I will be getting 1 plus x into g of x is equal to 1. Therefore your g of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x. Next one. Suppose the sequence is 1, 2, 3, 4 dot 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 that is nothing but a k is equal to k plus 1 that is a 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 that is 1. a 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2 like this. So let us consider let g of x is equal to because first term coefficient is 1 so it is 1. Second term coefficient is the second term is 2 therefore 2 x plus 3 x square and so on. Let us call it as equation 1. Then multiply this g of x by minus x. We get minus x into g of x is equal to 1 minus uh, when you multiply by minus x I will get minus x 2x multiply by minus x I will get minus 2x square so on like this. So adding equation 1 and 2 we get 1 minus x into g of x is equal to 1 plus 2x minus x is x 3x minus 3x square minus 2x square is x square. So this is nothing but 1 plus x plus x square which we have already seen that it is 1 divided by 1 minus x. Therefore your g of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus x whole square because this denominator, uh, this becomes the denominator on the right hand side. 